This is a quick style history of Karahe. The indigenous Tongva had a village called Chokisna, right across the river from Karahe in what we now call Bell Gardens. Estimates say they started kicking it around 500 AD. Then comes Spain, stumbling over thousands of years of culture and giving Don Antonio Maria Lugo 11 square leagues of LA. The league is measured by what an average person can walk in an hour. So just imagine a big square that goes from the Walmart in Southgate to the 105 freeway. Years later, a French guy with weird ideas by the name of Remy Nadal buys the acres where Karahe now sits. At first, he's determined to grow beets and refine them for sugar. His best friend is quoted as saying the sugar tastes bad at best. Nadal starts to hell with it and switches to wine. He puts on so many grapevines that at the time of his death he may have owned the largest winery in the world. Decades pass and eventually the land goes to Michael the Butcher Cudahy. During his life Cudahy went from Irish immigrant to major player in the American meat game. His plan is to use the land to build a giant slaughterhouse. Cudahy even tries to get the government to let him use the LA River water for quote washing purposes, promising to return the water to the river when he's done with it. Good luck with that Southgate. Cudahy later switches to the real estate game and sells the land in pieces. His way of breaking them up is unique. Instead of squares the plots are cut into long rectangles. Imagine a parking lot five spaces wide and about 44 rows deep. The idea was that people would be able to grow plants and animals and not ideally be self-sustained. In 1960, residents are getting absorbed by surrounding cities, so they decide to become Cudahy. It's a little late, and Cudahy becomes the second smallest city in LA. During the 70s, factories close down, white people head out, and apartments pop up. In the 80s, various beautiful brown people show up and make Cudahy their home. Latinos, Chicanos, Latin exile, Mexicans, people who like George Lopez, people who hate George Lopez, just about anybody who watched Sabo Gigante, and probably a few Cubans now make up 95% of the city. In the 2000s, Cudahy starts to get a little thick, becoming the second most tightly packed city in LA, and this is where Cudahy is now. Squeeze in the southeast LA like that little brother who always has to sit in the back right in the middle over the hump.